Fatu Melafonwu in two games since he's been a starter, since he's taken the place of Tracy Walker, has 14 total tackles, 11 of them being solo tackles, three sacks, an interception, and a forced fumble. Yeah. Man's been playing lights out. Man's been all over the field. Yeah. Man's talking choppy, eh? Yeah. So I, I just love to see it. And the depth the Lions have in this secondary, the best safety room in the NFL. The secondary is deep. You're getting back a playmaker in Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. What do you do with that? With If he playing the way he is, with Kirby getting two interceptions to end his season total last week, Brian Branch playing like a stud, getting an interception, dropping one in the, in the end zone where he could have had two. Yeah. What do you do with C.D. Deuce coming back? I think, I think there may be some turmoil. Because if he's performing at, at like a high level, very high level, to the point where like I don't know if you guys watch Good Morning Football, but I, I caught it today and, and Devin McCourty at the Super Bowl win over the, the Patriots and uh, was he part of that the Titans team too? If I wasn't mistaken, mm-hmm. he's been part of like some successful teams. A, a former defensive back himself, he ranks like the defensive backs in the league. Number five on his list today was Afonso Milafamu, alongside of a Cal Hamilton and the rest of the names you expect to see on that list. But Afonso Milafamu being on that list after just two games, starting at the position, he's doing amazing things. But the stats that he put up. And the stats you just said, mm-hmm. the past two games, were rivaling that of guys that have been playing the position the entire season. And just a two game spurt. It, it, it's, it's truly like, it's, it's special. And if you're Aaron Glenn and you're also coming away with victories on top of it, how do you move away from that? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. And I got to think it's Spinny. CJ, DJ came here to play the nickel. Mm-hmm. Brian Branch was just so good as a standout rookie in camp that they. We moved him to safety and we're like okay we'll play him at, we'll just have both our playmakers on here I think there's a way it still works I love Brian Branch still high hopes for Brian Branch but if I want my, my best playmaker because Brian Branch had interceptions the past game too it's, it's a tough decision for anybody to make but I think what's going to end up happening is we could have the best of both worlds if he still plays safety we just move CJ DJ down to play that nickel quarterback spot that was like a kind of high hybrid spot you play in New Orleans anyway I think you could work with having both CJ DJ and if you're on the field together in that situation. Hey, look at Brian's good, but it, well, CJ D is more experienced in it. Was it a Super Bowl last year?